Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play is Attorney Dual Destinies. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today, July 22nd, 19, 9 a.m. District Court Defense Lobby number 3. We start day 2 of the trial as we try to not only save an orca, but also an orca trainer from certain death. Well, is she dying? I mean, if she murdered someone, I would assume she gets this penalty. It's kind of... It's not really clear, I think, a lot of times in these games, but... You know, either way, it, it, it's 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 certain, you know, what, life in prison at the very least, so, yeah. But let's try to save Sasha, shall we? I hope everyone's having a wonderful, fantastic day today. What? The ship's doctor and his girl were romantically involved? <laughs> well, that's my theory, but I don't actually know if it's really true. Azura would never get involved with that cut off of ship's doctor. But I do admit, they were friends. But would Azura send Dr. Crab videos, I wonder? Videos? What do you mean? Azura used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orca tricks. I used to help Azura take the videos on a TV phone. Hmm, this is an interesting bit of information. TV phone updated in the court records. Someone's boyfriend has videos of her using a whistle to make the orca do tricks. So TV phones can shoot videos too, huh? My dumb phone sure can't. Those TV phones are amazing. They can even record sounds that you and I can't hear. Like, all the equipment we use at Ship Shape Aquarium is high tech. The ship's doctor sets away for all kinds of electronics. So, all the high tech stuff is Dr. Crab's doing, huh? Anyway, I saw Hailey Trout. Azura's boyfriend was the ship's doctor. But Dr. Crab found a charm yesterday and he was really shaken by it. The charm? Hey, hey, leave that alone. I belong to Azura. Uh, what was Azura's charm doing in Rifle's stomach? That charm looked just like your keepsake of Azura. Well, yeah. Well, she did say she and her boyfriend had matching charms. Were the ship's doctor and Azura really a couple? I, I can't believe it. I think Dr. Crab will be called as a witness today. There are still so many unanswered questions. But I hope to solve them all in today's trial. I believe in you too. I know you could do it. And we will, Sasha. We promise. July 22nd, 9.30 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. All rise. Day two. Well, the court is now in session with the trail of Sasha Buckley. The defense is ready. Ah! Really? Already? Huh. <laughs> ready. No, I'm completely thrown off. Well, very good. It appears both the prosecution and defense are ready. But yesterday it was proven that the orca was not guilty and that the victim fell to his death. Prosecutor Blackwell, did your investigation of the orca pool turn up anything? Huh. Hmm. It did. We found a blood stain from the victim at the bottom of the pool. On this. Oh my, what a frightening looking rock. You see, he has a blood stain on it. Hmm, just looking at it gives me the willies. So, we, can we assume that there is no water in the pool at the time of the incident? Hmm, very good. What a clever little deduction. Oh, wait, let's, let's get a compliment for the prosecution for a change. Prosecutor Blackwell has completely tamed the judge with his carrot and stick approach. <laughs> I guess I should have bought a few carrots of my own. Right, moving along. I have prepared a witness. Buckler was the only one who entered the room when there was no water in the pool. The witness will prove of that. Hmm. Come to the stand, witness.
Hmm. Name and occupation. Uh, it's Dr. Herman Crab Beep! <laughs> Sniper, stay in there! I knew it was that cute little creature. Aw, I, I knew I was like the judge. Huh, such a restless bird. Quite unlike Taka. Hey, don't you make fun of Sniper. Sniper no Snipey. <laughs> wow, chalk one up for Taka. He shut Sniper up with a single sound. Uh, son of a gun. Dr. Hermit Crab, ship shape veterans, uh, aquarium's veterinarian. Well, and could you tell us the name of your cute little friend there as well? Uh, your honor, please focus on the case. But it's important to learn all we can about the witness. Besides, the thing's adorable. Uh, this is Sniper. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, she's the offspring of a penguin named Rifle. Sniper uh, kind of lives in my hair. She might cause a commotion now and then, but please try to ignore her. I was originally going to call the animal keeper to the stand. But he refused to testify, so I settled on the veterinarian. Hmm, now tell us. Why was the defendant in the orca pool room when the water was drained? What is testimony? Cleaning the orca pool room. Uh, in the early morning hours of July 20th, well, Sasha was cleaning the orca pool room. Sasha, Jack, Shipley, and the owner were scheduled to do the cleaning together. Uh, during the cleaning, the boiled water was drained. While the cleaning was going on, Mala was taking care of the orca in his show pool. Uh, the pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. Hmm. Uh, and your uh, claim is that the victim was made to fall to his death during their cleaning. Huh. Only Buckler and the owner had the security card necessary to enter the orca pool room. And we already know from the security company's record of card usage that the defendant was in the orca pool room during the time of the cleaning. The witness's testimony and the record of security card usage are conclusive evidence. Hmm, so no one else said the defendant was at the scene and the water in the pool was drained. Uh-oh. The judge already seems to be leaning toward the other side. You have to strike fast. Your Honor, we're ready for the cross-examination now. Strike first, strike card, no mercy. Or whatever that is. Oh yes, of course. Well, please proceed then, without killing me if you can't. How of youth comes in handy at times like these. That is like the fastest cross-examination I've ever seen. <laughs> we just got right to it. Cleaning the Oka Well, in the early morning hours of July 20th, Sasha was cleaning the Oka Hold it! Why is the cleaning done so early in the morning? Especially the middle of the night. Uh, aquarium is open every day of the year without break. So, of course, the cleaning has to be done at night when there are no visitors. Hmm. No days off, is that it? I can relate to that. Yeah, I guess prisoners don't get to take days off. They sure are different around our office, huh, boss? You don't have to rub it in quite so enthusiastically. So, was the defendant cleaning alone? Uh, no. Well, you see, uh, Sasha Jack Shipley, the owner, was scheduled to do the cleaning together. Hold it. But Miss Buckler said that Mr. Shipley never showed up to help with the cleaning. Well, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that it was on the schedule. Maybe they changed plans. They probably felt awkward with each other after the fight. In any case, there's no proof the victim entered the pork and pull room during the cleaning. Objection! If you don't stop your yammering, I will pull your tongue out and barbecue it. I like how he's chewing on a feather. Gah! Do you have to be so violent? Proof or none, the victim must have entered the pool room during the cleaning. Witness, tell him why. 
Well, it checked Mr. Into the work of proven. The only reason I think so is because, um... Well, the vehicular card usage shows that it's also into the Yorker pool room. Hold it. Don't you mean to say that the record shows both of the cars being used? Uh, no. Only Sasha's. But you know, they must have gone in together. I mean, Jack's body was found in that room, so you know that's the only logical explanation. We talked about this just yesterday. What purpose does that brain of yours serve? Gak! Oh, you have more bird brain than rifle. Hey! Objection! Witness, I will not allow birds to be belittled in my presence. Hey, I always knew I liked Black Bull. Good job, Black Bull. Limit your disparaging comments to the defense alone. Hey! It's mean. So I get to spare you the way. Great. <laughs> uh, bird lover, huh? Well, I guess we're not destined to become best friends. That is fine. All I need is for you to talk about the state of the scene during cleaning. All right, fine. Oh, I don't know. I think the two of them were made for each other. Uh, during the cleaning, the uh, the pool water is drained. Hold it. So the cleaning is done with the pool drained of water? Well, that's right. They use the hoist air to lower themselves to the bottom of the pool. Uh, they can do regular cleaning with water in the pool, but this was an intense decision. Well, I never clean my own lab, however. Don't you uh think it might be due then? I guess I can talk though. <laughs> Well, Sasha Mullen came in to clean up for me on occasion. Well, like, I'm too busy myself. I have animals to look after. You know, like this one, for example. Aww. Well, that's such an adorable little creature. It you know, let's cheer it to this bleak classroom or courtroom. Yes. Your reaction to Taka was very different, as I recall. Well, I mean, this looks an adorable, cute little baby penguin. Oh, Tataka is a fine bird too, of course. Uh, please continue, Dr. Crab, quickly now, uh, before he tries to kill us all. Well, as I was saying, Sasha was cleaning the Orca pool room. And while the cleaning was going on, Mallow was taking care of the Orca in the show pool. Hold it. So all of them was moved all the way over to the show pool? Why was that? Well, it wanted to, to get a covenant clan here, now would it? Of course she was moved. Hey, you don't take a bath while you're cleaning the tub, do you? Hmm, excellent point. Well, I usually clean the tub after I take a bath with my seal. Huh. I was assigned to clean the shower stalls yesterday. They were cleaner than an Edo bathhouse by the time I was done. Uh, good, I guess? I guess Bosco Blackpool is the fastidious type. I polished it so well, I bet the inmates are slipping and sliding all over right about now. <laughs> oh my god, now we know why he wanted to clean it so well. Hmm, maybe he's not so much the fastidious type as a prankster type. <laughs> so somehow, I don't think that's it either. Well anyway, cleaning the orca pool is just like cleaning the tip. Uh, the pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. Hold it. There's no possibility it would be drained at any other time other than cleaning. Uh, none. Ugh. Shut down with a single word. Why are you so certain? Well, uh, think about it. If the pool water would drain, what would happen to the orca? That the poor thing. Uh, who said you wanted, Athena? Exactly, young lady. I mean, without water, Ola would be all right for a short period of time. But anything longer than that would pose serious risk. I mean, she could even die. So the fact that Ola is alive and well is proof that the water wasn't drained on her? Well, that's right. 
The orca pool and the show stage pool are next door to each other. A horse runs between the two to move the orca equipment back and forth. You know, when it says the cleaning is done, the orca is moved to the show pool first. Show stage pool first. So the water is only drained while the pool water is being cleaned. Hmm, please add that information to your testimony. I am, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but my throat is a little bit sore. Uh, I did a long stream earlier today, and uh, that was off of me trying to recover. So if I sound weird today, that's partly why. Uh, it's it's uh, really hard to do the judge's voice. Yeah, so I'm doing the best I can. Well, there's no water in the pool, the orca could die. Hold it. Uh, I guess you're right. It's probably the reason why I haven't done uh, Ace Attorney in a while, but you know, I wanted to do it. Son of a gun, why did you harp on it so? Hmm, the defense laws make a fuss over nothing. Well, you do like to stir up trouble, don't you, Mr. Liar? Just like this one. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Aww, Penguin makes me smile. How rude. Don't compare Mr. Wright to Sniper. Granted, his suit might make him look like a little penguin. Aww, that's awesome. Uh, Athena, is that what she really thinks of me? That's such a good compliment, Phoenix. Yeah, I wish Sniper and Miss Baby Chick would stop all the people to German. Uh, Miss Baby Chick? How dare you? No, wait. That actually sounds pretty cute. <laughs> wow, he just got away with calling a young woman to check in court. Somehow we had to show the, uh, the water could have been drained at some other time. If we don't, Sasha will be the only one under suspicion. There must be a hit somewhere. I better look at the evidence again. I had to find out how the water could have been drained while Ola was there. Okay, so we know it's got to be one of the last ones, right? The pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. It has to be this one. So we just got to find evidence that contradicts this. Um... Location of the bus scene, sketch of Luminar are sketched in. Orca kills trainer. Contusion. Some of the boyfriend's videos her using what's to make her do orca tricks. Uh, the show song in the video is different from the one that Plume heard. Uh, okay. That's uh, why it has a horrible fishy smell. I don't have anything here. Pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. Hmm. Fingerprints? Left to try. Hmm. Move from the show pool during cleaning time. I'm. Uh, I'm. Unsure. Like, I don't see anything in here that has to do with that has to do with the um the the pool being clean. You know what I mean? Um well it's not about the pool being clean. It's about there is something else that's going on that would call the that would call the that would cause the pool to be empty right i mean we, we know that the skull rock was originally in a different location and we know that the skull rock was in originally a different location but um that doesn't make sense Um, hmm.
I mean, we don't have a lot of evidence here, right? Oh, uh, let's just, I mean, just go through this one by one. It's not this, not this, not this, not this, not this, not this, not that, not that. Could be this. Uh, photo of the mom pool location of the blood stains, you guys. This is about blood stains and the luminol. So, it's not that. Uh, the three Zeds sleeping. That, that. During cleaning the pool water's drain. While the plane is going on, mom will take care of the oak on the show pool. The pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. If there was no water in the pool, the orca could die. Hold on a second. This clearly shows that the orca could survive in the pool when there is no water. Because the water is on the other side. So uh, Ola could have been on the other side and he could have been killed on the right, right? There's no one in the pool that Orca could die. Here it shows that the Orca could survive while there's water in the pool. Objection! All right, okay. I know I'm feeling a little bit sluggish and I know it's been a couple days, but we got back there. We, 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 got, we got our way back. If the water in the pool is drained, you say the Orca could die. But is that necessarily true? Uh, what are you talking about? Well, there is a way to let the water out without harming the orca, isn't there? Your Honor, please allow me to submit this photograph. I mean, what threw me off initially was the luminol. I'm looking at the luminol, I'm like, okay, this is about luminol. It's not about the pool. And then when I saw that thing on the bottom, I was like, wait a second. No, you know, it's, it's tricky. Very tricky how they threw me off there. Oh, uh, this is. As you can see, there is no water around the Skull Rock area. With the water in this state, the victim could have made it to fall to his death. However, there is water on the other side of the partition. And Orla looks just fine. <sighs> Son of a gun. In other words, with the partition is set up at the bottom of the pool, the water can be drained without doing Orla any harm. Now, why wouldn't he know that? Like, he would know that, right? Are you implying the water could have been drained at any time other than during cleaning? Yes, there is that possibility. Dr. Crab is shaking. Looks like he has something to hide. Could it have something to do with the calendar notes about meeting with the victim? Uh, it might. I'll submit it to the judge. Your Honor, please take a look at this calendar. Uh, you, uh, waved that around in court yesterday. No need to drag out your souvenir today. Actually, I would like you to make note of the entry for the day of the incident. Uh, let me see here. Meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m. There's no dis about playing playing with the victim. What? The defense would like to argue that at the time of the meeting, the pool may have been drained of its water. Uh, whose calendar is that? Uh, it's, um, it belongs to Dr. Hermit Crab. Isn't that right, Dr. Crab? Oh, you son of a gun. So, so you suspect me, do you? And what is the meaning of this calendar entry, Dr. Crab? Explain yourself. Oh, fine. I was supposed to be Jack of the Orca Pool at that time. But uh, I ended up not going. So you're saying you simply broke your promise? You can't get out of it that easy. I believe he has some explaining to you. Lucy, you have some explaining to do. Objection. I figured you might. Your blade is sharper than I thought, right, Dono? But your cut was shallow. A mere surface scratch. There's a saying amongst prisoners. Do not see, hear, nor speak too smooth, talking lawyers. If you think the witness is suspicious, show your proof. Ack! 
Calvin Lone isn't good enough, huh? Well, I had to prove the victim could have fallen to his death at the 7 a.m. meeting time. Oh, let's put it to it together, boss. The victim could have fallen during cleaning when the pool was completely drained. Or using the partition, it could have been at 7 a.m. when the water was partially drained. What would be the major difference in circumstances between these two possibilities? The rock. Because wasn't the rock in the other place? Hmm, what circumstance was different? The answer could really tell us something. What circumstance was different between the two possibilities of cleaning? What was half filled? the orca was there at the time of day? Okay, so it's not the rock. Um... What circumstance was different between the two possibilities of cleaning? The victim could have fallen during cleaning when the pool was completely drained. Or use the partition, it could have been at 7 a.m. What is the major difference in circumstances between these two possibilities? Uh, the orca was there. I mean, the time of day was different was, is obvious. The pool was half filled is obvious. Only the orca was there sounds different than the other two. If the murder occurred at a time other than during cleaning, the orca might have been there. Oh, you're right. And that would mean that... Ola witnessed the murder. Too bad the Ola can't talk. What's this? You're sheathing your sword so soon. Stop near me to each other and show me how you wield your sword. Alright then. My sword is poised and ready. If the murder was committed at a time other than during cleaning time, then Ola must have been present at the scene. If I can prove that the murder happened right in front of Orla, then I can prove that Miss Buckler is not guilty. Is this where we use the luminol and the blood? Order, order in the court! Mr. Wright, are you implying that the Yorker was a witness to the crime? That is exactly what I'm implying. Huh. And? How do you intend to prove the Orca witnessed the murder? What are you going to do? Put the Orca on the stand and cross-examine her? Well, it's not the craziest thing we've ever done. This is a critical point. I better think about it carefully. The defense will cross-examine Orca. I had to say this, don't I? I mean, it's while we present evidence. But there's no health meter up there. So there's no health meter up there, I can freely choose something and be wrong about it. So let's just go down, because I have a feeling that present evidence is the correct thing to do. If I asked Ola she witnessed the murder, I'm sure she would tell me everything. Really? How interesting. And how do you propose to communicate with the Orla? Or that with the Orca? Well, I, um, I, I'd have to think about that. Basically, I ask the questions and I just say that everything she says is what I want her to say. Some wheels off. Unlike some birds, an orca is incapable of human speech. No, I'm afraid I cannot lie to cross examine a creature that cannot speak. I will let you examine creatures that can't speak, though, but let's make sure we know about the difference. Unless the defense is some other way of communication with the orca. No, I'm afraid I don't, Your Honor. I guess that was a silly idea. Please let me try again. The defense will continue with crap. I'll continue my cross-examination, Dr. Crap. Huh. Nah. Well, that's fine with me, but I've already said everything I had to say. You still haven't told the court why you broke your promise to meet with the victim while I wiggle Objection. my finger at you. Before we get into that, why don't you take care of your orca witnessing the murder, Boulder Dash, first? Hmm, yes, Boulder Dash. Is that some sort of shot at me? That seems to be quite a sensitive subject with the judge. <laughs> hmm, maybe I better come up with something that isn't balderdash. The defense will present evidence. Yep, I was right about that. The defense will present evidence. Evidence will prove Ola witnessed the murder. Are you going to uh, present evidence? Hmm, knowing the defense, I thought surely you would try to cross examine the worker. <laughs> I must say I'm a little disappointed. Geez, sorry to get your hopes up, Your Honor. Very well, let's see this evidence then. 
What evidence shows that the murder took place right in front of the Orca? So my first thought was the Luminol. Because there is blood on the whale. But why would there be blood on the whale? I don't know. It just seems like the most natural thing to me. <sighs> From 12 to 10 a.m. Wow, that's a very broad time of death. Like, super broad. Ah, shoot. Let's just go with it. Take that. This sort of indicates where we discovered luminol reactions yesterday. I guess that was it. By accident, we got some of the luminol testing fluid on Orla. We were very surprised to see. Luminol reactions on Orla's body. Objection. So, what of it? There's nothing odd about that. As was discussed in yesterday's trial, the orca was bleeding. Traces of the orca's blood were also found on the skull of rock. The orca must have injured herself when she rammed the rock. So that cloud of blood Mr. Plume saw was from Ola headbutting the skull of rock, was it? Skull of rock update in the court record. The victim slammed into it when he fell. Ola was also, also rammed into it and had been moved from the show pool. Those luminal reactions you saw in the orca are most likely from a headbutting. Objection! What about the tail, though? Well, what's odd is the position of those blood stains. Please take a good look at the photograph. Yeah, there's, there's, you know, blood on her back end. Yesterday, Mr. Plume said that the blood disappeared when Ola put on the hat. That testament indicated that Ola's injuries were under the hat area. However, these luminal reactions are in two entirely separate areas from her injuries. The blood stains can be Ola's own blood from when she was headbutting. Uh, then when did the blood come from? Well, it's my firm belief that it's the victim's blood. The victim was killed right in front of Orla. And the victim's blood splattered onto Orla's body. Yeah! Now it finally all makes sense. Ola was a witness to the murder, so that's why. Ola? Boss, something's wrong with Ola. What? You're right. She's listless, and she's sinking. There's one more fact that indicates Ola was a witness to the murder. Uh, there's more? The culprit was afraid Ola could somehow reveal what she witnessed. And that's why they did what they did. It's the only thing that makes sense. I had to present that evidence, the three Zeds, right? They put her to sleep or they try to kill her one or the other. This evidence proves that the culprit thought Ola was a dangerous witness. Take that! I mean, all the evidence is kind of lining up that Dr. Crab did it. But I'm still unsure. I, I love this case how I don't know. And I wonder if I'm being biased here. What do I mean by that? Because the last two cases I did know. So the fact that I don't know in this case makes it seem more important than what it probably should. Because if I didn't know in the last case, I might not have felt as excited as I am right now not knowing. Does that make sense? I mean, it's almost like last case made this case better but then again, I could have said that about any other case in this slot that didn't reveal the killer. Anyway, the defense would like to submit this evidence. Uh, what's this? Looks like some sort of medicine. It's a sleeping drug, Your Honor. A very powerful one. The sleeping drug was discovered in Ola's stomach yesterday. The cobra tried to drown Ola by putting her into deep sleep. I tried to drown Orca? But, but why? Right, you know. Are you trying to tell this court that the perpetrator tried to kill the Orca to prevent the witness from talking? 
Do you really expect me to, to defeat me with that feeble attack? Well, my sword has been drawn. I'm not about to sheathe my evidence now. Orcas have an enormous potential for intelligence. The possibility that Aurora could somehow manage to reveal the truth cannot be denied. The culprit believed in this possibility, and that's why they tried to kill her. Huh. Dr. Hermit Crab, you purchased the sleeping drug, didn't you? Uh, what? Does this mean the veterinarian tried to do away with the orca? Uh, who but a veterinarian would know better than how to disguise an orca's death? He could even prevent the police from examining Ola's body, but then why did he try to save the orca? I'm confused! Why are you? Are you actually accusing me of trying to murder the orca? He looks mad. How dare you slander the noble profession of a veterinarian! Eek! Eek! My goodness! Orca got the cage to this courtroom with the knife! Uh, yes! I admit to purchasing that sleeping drug. However, it was subsequently stolen from my lab. Uh huh. Okay, now the pendulum swings back to Marlin. That's such a flimsy excuse. What well, is the truth? What else can I say? Because why else would he try to save the orca? That that's the thing that's gotten me, um, Going crazy here. If you try to save the orca, knowing that you try to kill him, that doesn't make any logical sense at all. It just doesn't. It's the truth. What else can I say? Any one of my crew members could have entered my lab. I guess that weakens my evidence quite a bit. Uh, besides, think about it for a minute. Uh, who was it that treated Orla after she swallowed the drug? Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's... That, that was my point of contention, too. It was I. But as I recall, it took you quite a while to give that treatment. You didn't even come on your own. We had to get you. Uh, son of a gun. You just remember all sorts of little details, don't you, Mr. Lawyer? The orca pool and the lab are far apart. It's little wonder he didn't know about Orgola's condition. Objection! Why is he on his side now? I mean, it, it, I feel like, well, the prosecution, and he's the defense. <laughs> Didn't know? That's highly doubtful. As far apart as it were, Dr. Crab still had a way to know all about Ola's condition. The defense would like to submit evidence that the witness knew about Ola's condition. Um, okay, my first thought was it was going to be the walkie-talkie. However, the fact it says Ola's condition implies it's... Um... This. Because Ola didn't eat anything. Take that. Okay, I'm glad I took a second to realize that. Sometimes you just gotta stop for a second to think about things. The torpedo. Gah! Just had to bring that up, didn't you? With this advanced data system, surely you would have known Ola's condition. Objection. Wait, just one minute. What is this torpedo? Uh, Dr. Crab! How dare you bring a weapon of mass destruction in my courtroom? I mean, come on. When we said the penguin's name was Rifle, you didn't freak out. Or a sniper. Uh, so now you're freaking out about torpedo? And besides, not even a weapon of mass destruction is a torpedo. I mean, torpedoes aren't like that, are they? Can you arm a torpedo with, like, a mass destructive warhead? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the Torpedo, or Tele-Observation Real-Time Pertinent Data organization, Organizer, is a data system. Until yesterday, only Dr. Crab and Mr. Shipley knew about the Torpedo. It isn't legally approved in this country, so it's kept secret from the police. Uh, it's legal! Dr. Crab, I demand an explanation! <laughs> look at that! That's so cute! Aww. That is so adorable! Oh, I, 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 I love this case. I mean, I'm a sucker for penguins, but that is just so adorable. Uh, son of a gun! You and your big mouth, Mr. Lawyer! Yeah, it's true. Using a legal system to monitor the creatures at the aquarium. 
But this system uses sensors like these, and yes, there's one in the orca pool too. These are the sensors send sound waves through the water to gather data on the creatures. If it finds abnormalities of the condition, the torpedo alerts with the sound. Oh my goodness, how very high tick. But if it's illegal, I will not turn a blind eye. This matter will be appropriately dealt with at a separate time. Now then, Mr. Ray, please continue. Well, the torpedo, I'm sure Dr. Cobb noticed the danger Ola was in. But he made no attempt to come to her aid on his own. And the reason for that is that Dr. Crab wanted Ola dead. Uh, the, the torpedo did give me a warning message. Well, that's why I didn't know there was anything wrong with the Ola. The sensor in the Orca pool wasn't working during the police's investigation. Objection! Can you prove that statement? Objection! Hmm. <laughs> 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 What's with him? I guess this is all so high tech, but let's get a plaque well. That's making me a little funny. Funny? Yes. I find this all very funny. Witness, those sensors sent sun waves to the water, correct? But what if there isn't any water? Well, then they wouldn't work. They would automatically switch off. I see. And where is the sensor and the orca pool located? He is clever. I don't know. Well, Jack is the one who attached it for me. You don't know. Then I will tell you. You know? The police found a sensor just like the one you just showed us. They found it attached to the table at the bottom of the pool. Table? Do you mean the table in this photograph? Oh, that's right. Don't you get it yet, right, Dino? The table is on the Skovak side of the partition. It's affixed to the bottom of the pool and can't be moved. Oh, and it's so the water was drained from the Skovak side of the pool. Precisely. Without water, the torpedo sensor would not work. Witness, when did that sensor automatically switch off? Uh, hang on, I'll look it up. Uh, the only times lately were during cleaning two days ago in the investigation yesterday. But of course, I knew the pool would be drained while they cleaned it. But I had no idea they drained it for the investigation. No one let me know. Well, that's why I didn't know about Ola's condition yesterday. So Dr. Crab really did want to save Ola? Haha. <laughs> did you hear that right, Dino? Yes, the water can be drained without harm to the porka the partition is used. But if the water is drained from the Skullvok side, the sensor turns itself off. If this sensor was always on except for during the cleaning and the investigation, it means there must have been water in the pool at all other times. It was never drained. In other words, no one but the defendant could have committed the crime. Egg! Well, I took it home for the worse. Order, order, order in the court. This completely shares the defense's argument. Uh, what? The fact still remains that Ola was nearly killed with Dr. Crab's sleeping drug. Objection! But aren't you forgetting one important question? When was the sleeping drug given to the Orca? You're right. That hasn't been discussed yet, has it? The orca pool is the scene of the murder. The police were there all day yesterday. The only way to get the drug to the orca undetected is to put it in her food. Yesterday, someone gave the orca food during the trial. Someone did? Afraid I don't remember that. You don't remember? You're not that old yet, are you? 
Hmm, it was the defendant. Sasha Buckler! Arg! Hmm, so that is the orca that stands accused, is it? Aw, she's wanting to flip right us. Maybe she's cheering us on. Hola. Wish Phoenix and Athena luck. Huh. Huh. Would have thought that such a small thing would come up. So your argument is that Miss Buckler is the one who gave Orca the drug. The prosecution argument hasn't changed. Buckler made the victim fall to his death and then manipulated the Orca to pin it on her. Still not satisfied, she further planned to kill the Orca with a sleeping drug. Hmm. I don't hear any reports of Dr. Grab feeding Orla. Maybe they have a hand in Orla's attempt at murder after all. But is there anybody else who could have fed Orla besides Sasha? Hmm, if it's true the defendant is the one who fed the sleeping drug to the Orca. Well then that places even more suspicion on her than ever. Objection! The defense objects to the prosecution's claims. Well, well, you still haven't admitted defeat. Prosecutor Blackwell, I don't appreciate the way you only mention the parts that are convenient to you. Huh? Huh? Uh, what do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? The prosecutor failed to mention that Miss Buckler wasn't the only one to feed Orla. As you all recall, there was another person who gave Orla food. Oh, you mean that person? I love how vague they are with these things. Looks like Athena remembers now, too. It's only one other person. Well, congrats, Sasha! Time to celebrate! Go on, eat up! Oh, Mr. Wright, no. I don't want to believe it, either. But we can't ignore the truth. The other person who fed Orla during the trial was... Marlon Rhymes. Take that! Please recall when Orla was found not guilty yesterday. Marlon Rhymes gave the Orca a large quantity of food. If the sleeping drug was mixed in with that food, it could be given to the Orca without acute arousing police suspicion. And now that you mention it, I do remember that flip flop we're feeding the Orca. <laughs> Objection. Hmm, so you remember, did you? I see, the time for a true sword fight has come. I call Marlon Rhymes to the stand. Uh, Mr. Lawyer, both Ms. Orca Lover and Marlon Rhymes are important members of her crew. I don't want to suspect either of them. And I'm ready to accept whatever truth you find. Here, I take this. That charm. It's a charm that matches the one Azura Summers had, isn't it? So you and Miss Summers were romantically involved, weren't you, Dr. Crab? What? No, no, of course not. Sorry to disappoint you, but this doesn't belong to me. Well, at the time, I thought it was Azura's, so I grabbed it. But it wasn't hers. Now it's up to you, Mr. Lloyd, to figure out whose charm it is. Huh. So... Marlon Rhymes... Could a man romantically involved with Azura? And Azura dies. So Marlon Rhymes gets a job at the aquarium. In order... To... Kill the whale. Because he blames the whale for her death. And he also might blame uh, the captain for her death. So not only does he blame the captain, but he wants the whale killed too. But he wants to kill the captain in order for the whale to be the suspect. So that way the whale dies, the captain dies, and no one else dies. Huh. It's, it's an intriguing plan. One that he would have had to have put into place for like a year now, right? 
Because he only just started working at the aquarium. Is that true? I, I thought he did. Does it say? New animal keeper. Yeah. I will. Thank you, Dr. Crab. Hi, hey, Jarrell. I'm interested in the outcome of this trial, too. Well, now then, please summon Mother Mimes to the witness stand. Yo, well, what's going on? What's everybody making that face for? I have been watching the trial and nobody's told me anything. Mother Mimes, you are under suspicion for the attempt to murder the orca. Yeah, what? Now the deaths. Well, I see. Well, if it's already out. That's weird. But Mr. Rhymes, is he really going to admit it? Well, fine, I'll tell the truth. When is testimony? Okay, that was fast. Sasha's lying to protect that orca. By 3.30 a.m. on the 20th, there was still water in the orca pool. I had the incident happened before the orca was meant to the show pool. Or they kill the cat in my bash 30 feet high and make him slam into the water. So I thought the orca should pay the consequences. What the heck? Well, now we're back to the orca again. What? I did not see that testimony coming. Now, wait one minute. Yes, sir. Oliver was pretty yes, innocent. Not only that, but the guy said that uh, he died because the, the orca shot him up into the air. And we all know that he fell to his death. Besides, you said Ola was in the show pool during the cleaning. Why well, I didn't want to seal Sashi out. Well, that's why I need to tell the truth. But the fact is, all three of us, the Captain Sasha and me, were cleaning the pool room. But Dr. Crab and Miss Buckler both said you at the sto show stage. Well, the only thing Dr. Crab knew about the cleaning was what I told him. I didn't give him a whole lot of details either. Maybe you misunderstood. Sasha lying to protect the orca. She can't tell the truth. Sasha put blood on the skull of Akusel to make a fake blood stain. I think it's pretty brave of her to let herself get arrested to protect the worker. Now that's devious. Mr. Vimes, how can you lie like that? Well, that's the truth. Besides, wouldn't it be better for you if I wasn't lying? If the orca did it, you win your case. What? Hmm. Well, this is all very hard to believe. But if Mr. Rhyme's story is true, well, Miss Buckler would be innocent. The orca would be the killer. Huh. Meaning, if we turn our backs on Orla, we could save Sasha. Having a witness lie to save your own client. What a dirty, underhanded tactic, right to know. Objection! No, 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 we're not doing that. Yesterday, the defense proved Ola was not guilty. We have no intention of going back on our assertions now. What are you saying, Mr. Rat? All you gotta do is admit the orca did it and Sasha goes free. Is a liar supposed to act in his client's busy interest? But that wouldn't be acting in her interest. Miss Buckler believes Ola is innocent. And we, of course, believe that Miss Buckler herself is innocent, too. Acting in the client's best interest is an important part of our job as lawyers. Using dirty means to win a verdict will destroy our client's faith in us. That's right. We believe in both Miss Buckler's and Ola's innocence. Huh? I just don't understand how you can treat an or human and orca equally. Sasha or the orca you can only save one of them. Ha ha ha. I don't know about that. I think I could save them both. All I have to do is disprove your testimony. Oh yeah? Well then go ahead and try. I will do just that. If I can't tear down his testimony, I won't be able to save both of them. I have to find a weak start and start tearing. Cross-examination. The truth. Sasha's lying to protect that orca. Hold it. What exactly do you claim Miss Puckler is lying about? 
Sasha put that blood stain on the skull of Ock and stuff for sale. As false evidence. She left fake traces to try and save the Orca. Objection. Witness, if you keep talking nonsense, I will seal your mouth shut. The defense supports the prosecution's idea. <laughs> oh, that's great. But Mr. Wright, my testimony helps the client. You ought to be happy. I want to say both Orla and Miss Buckler. I won't accept anything less. And now that that's understood, please continue with your testimony. Eh, fine. Well, at 3.30 a.m. on the 20th, well, there was still water in the orca poo. Hold it. When the victim was killed, how much water was in the pool? Ah, it was before the pool was drained for cleaning. So I was full. You went into the orca pool room and saw this yourself. Dr. Crabbe said that you were there at the show stage. Objection! But it's possible that Dr. Crabbe was misinformed or that he misunderstood. The witness already explained this. Why are you taking this meaningless talk? If you want to play games, Taki here would be more than happy to play with you. Uh, nope. I'm good. We'd better be careful with how we press the witness. Taka is watching us like a hawk. Or is a hawk. Witness, continue. What's well, about time? At 3.30 on the 12th. I don't have evidence. I don't have evidence to support that. I mean, the torpedo doesn't help me here. Well, this incident happened for the work I was moved to the shell pool. Hold it. So you're saying the incident took place before the cleaning began? Yeah, I guess so. Captain Sasha and I were going to do the cleaning together. It's much more efficient than trying to have just one person do it alone. In the defense cases, however, more lawyers mean simply more lawyers, nothing more. What? You want to talk? All you have on your side is a kink a kink a kid take us bird. <laughs> uh, what about me? I'm all alone up here. Well it depends. You want the bird to come perch up on you like he does? Are you people done? Huh. You need the witness to keep you focused. For shame, right to know. Hey, I was the only one who kept my mouth shut. Well, anyway, the incident happened in the orca right before the clean got started. Or I gotta kill the captain by bash him 30 feet high and make him slam him into the water. Can an orca even do that? Send a person flying into the air like that? Yep, of course. I see an orca's bash its heels 60 feet into the air. It's natural, the orca could do that to the captain too. Uh, what a frightening thought. And uh, you mentioned it so casually, Mr. Rhymes. Now well, what else can I say? It's the truth. Mr. Rhymes is claiming that the orca killed the victim by sending him flying into the air. But would something like that even be possible in orca pull him? Okay. There's something about that statement that bothers me, so we know there's suspicion here. So you witnessed the moment the victim was killed by the orc, is that right? Exactly! So hold on, before I do this last one, let me look at this previous one. Uh, 30 feet. You know, whenever you have Ace Attorney, look for adjectives or specific numbers. That's why I looked earlier at the, uh, was it 330? Yeah, we didn't find anything in 330, but what about 30 feet? Uh, what would be under the autopsy? Thought to be from a 65 feet fall into pool. So here's evidence. Sailing to pool bottom is 100 feet. Well, either way, there's a contradiction on how many feet he fell. So I thought that Yorker should pay the consequences, but I want to do this first. Hold it. 
I always like to go through everything, just in case. And that's why he put the sleeping dog in all his food. Ahoy! Yo, 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 ho, ho! Sasha can be found guilty for there to be. If you could die, Sasha could go free! What up? Well, I thought if the orca was already dead, Sasha might tell the truth and free herself. It might seem cruel, but a main killing animal has to be put down. The culprit must have tried to do away with the Orla because she was a witness to the crime. But if Mr. Rhymes is the culprit, why would he try to protect Sasha? Hmm, I am such some very complex emotions to Mr. Rhymes. I, I don't think he wants Sasha to be guilty. Like, that was never part of his plan. Uh, so he's trying to protect her because, because he does, it's a complicated idea. He wants vengeance for the killing of his love, but he doesn't want any other person to get hurt from it. I mean, that makes him a murderer, but I don't know. It's, it's, like I said, it's, it's probably a complicated emotion. I need more information before I can do a puppet analysis, which is probably why she can't figure this out either. If I'm going to tear down his testimony, I guess I have to present evidence. Of course, we don't believe Mr. Rhymes' testimony. But he's suggesting the murder took place in the Orca pool. Unless we can dispute that, we won't be able to save both Ola and Sasha. Alright, let's start with this contradiction of numbers. Uh, what was it again? Um, the... Autopsy? Yes. Objection! So it wasn't the time, but it was the autopsy. It's not one number, it's the other. When lies are piled on top of each other, contradictions start to emerge. This time is no different. Are you saying there's some kind of inconsistency in my testimony? That's exactly what I'm saying. You claim that the victim was sent flying about 30 feet into the air. But the autopsy report shows the apparent cause of death be from a 65 foot fall. What? Additionally, in your testimony a moment ago, you said at 3.30 a.m. on the 20th, there was still water in the orca pool. Yeah, that's the one I couldn't refute. With the pool being 65 feet deep, there's only 30 feet between the water and the ceiling. Really? I don't think I would have gotten that at all. If the pool was full of water as you claimed, it would be impossible for the victim to fall about 65 feet as autopsy said. Oh, that's the 100. That must be the 100 foot thing. Okay, I see what he's saying. Mr. Rhymes claimed he was in the orca pool room so he could make these statements. But the truth must be was at the show stage, just as Dr. Crabbe and Sasha testified. Hmm. Well, that brings us back around and the orca didn't do it. Ah. I didn't believe the witness's testimony from the outset. I am grateful to you, right to know, for shutting the witness up. As I thought, the only person who killed the... How killed the victim is Sasha Buckler. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for the day. I want to say thank you for everyone. I love you all so very much. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. I am going to try to do more visual novels. Instead of making there a gap, it's just I need my throat heal. And doing voices is a lot harder. It just is. Uh, there's a lot of times I had to mute this video so I could, like, cough. But hey, I hope you guys have a great day, as I said, and um, I'll see you again very soon. Until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.